You've connected up your external SSD to your Mac and you're expecting it to show up as usual, but this time you can't see it showing up in your system, even with an update. If this is you, then take it easy and join me as we'll go over some of the potential reasons for this, settings and connections that will get your external hard drive showing up again on your Mac. Usually this problem may come from the inability for your system to recognize your hard drive or sometimes from a hidden setting. Regardless of what it is, you can follow this guide and by the end, you'll find the solution that works well for you. So let's get right into it. Hello everyone, my name's Mike and here at Sabrent, we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. So in most cases, when the external hard drive isn't showing up, it's most likely your preferences that have stopped it from displaying your hard drive. So let's see if it's behind your problem. To do this, you need to make Finder try to locate the hard drive. On the home screen, launch Finder by heading to the menu bar, clicking the Finder button and selecting preferences from the drop down menu. Head to the general tab and under show these items next to the desktop, check the box next to external disks. Now you should be able to see your external drive on your desktop and it's all ready to access. Sometimes the most obvious solutions are the ones that work. Your external drive simply might not be plugged in properly to your Mac. This is especially common with older type A USB drives. Just make sure that it's plugged in properly and it is fully inserted into the port. In the case of a USB type C port, like the Macs that I have here, you might wanna try and flip the cable around to see if that works. Oftentimes, this can fix the problem at hand. However, if the drive is plugged in properly and you still can't get the drive to show up, then there might be a fault with the cable. If you are able to, try plugging in the drive with a different USB-C cable or try plugging into another computer to see if the issue arises on that one or not. This way you can diagnose if it's an issue with the cable or an issue with the port on your computer itself. In a lot of cases I've seen, when the external drive is not displaying properly on your system, it's usually a system issue. Luckily, by simply restarting your computer, this can actually solve the problem. You'll be surprised at how many people do not restart their computer when an issue arises. So just click on the Apple logo in the corner of your screen and then click restart. Honestly, you will be surprised at how many issues this can solve. If you are still having issues with your drive not showing up in macOS, then you want to be sure that you can actually find your external SSD in the disk utility program. Showing up in the disk utility program means that there are no hardware problems with your drive, so you can simply mount it for a repair on disk utility. If it doesn't show up in disk utility, this may indicate damage on your external drive. To confirm this, just follow these steps. Tap the command and space keys together and type disk utility and then hit the disk utility option. In the new window, click on view and then tap show all devices to see if the external SSD sh appears on the left menu bar. If it's showing, click on it and select mount in the corner of the window and it should show up in Finder. However, doing this, there are some things that you should know. External SSDs with a Windows NTFS format cannot be mounted in a writable mode for Mac. If you want to mount this type of hard drive on your Mac, you'll need to download an NTFS driver. If you've mounted your hard drive and it's still not showing up, you may be dealing with a drive error. So let's check that out in the next step. In a situation where a drive error might have occurred, first aid can come to the rescue. If you don't know what this is, first aid is Mac's built-in feature, working as an automated troubleshooting solution for your error. Here's a straightforward guide on how to use this. Open disk utility as shown before by pressing the command and space keys together and typing disk utility and then selecting the disk utility option. See if your external SSD is grayed out from the left menu bar. If it is, select the grayed out device and then click the first aid tab and then tap run and wait a little while as it automatically troubleshoots the problem for you. Hopefully this fixes the error and you'll be able to use your drive right away. For situations where you've used the hard drive on other computers for a little while and your Mac can't recognize it, data recovery and formatting the drive may rectify the issue. Unfortunately, over time, hard drives need to be reformatted to stop errors like this from coming up again. We have a video on this channel on how to format a drive on macOS, so check that out if you need to do it. Remember, 
Be sure to back up your files before carrying out any of these processes. But I really hope this video has helped you find your external drive on your Mac. If this video has helped you out, then let us know by smashing that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.